أنا أتكلم إحنا اللي بنبني نبتدي In the end I got some CD here There's two in English and two in Arabic So you pick up whatever you like Some sermon, some related to the Great Lent Samaritan woman Some Bible study book of Baruch Six uh, sermon and the book of Jonah you know, And you pick up whatever you like And the one here this was the sermon last month Open God my eye And how we repent so the, third, uh, the, the what we're talking about today, last month was no Sunday school class, so I did this month. For for no, no Sunday school with seven minutes, can all the wedding Fanny? Yes, Did he come back or not? He did. He came back and he was I will tell you then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So what we're talking about, just 15 minutes. The question we need to ask ourselves, why we serve? Because if the picture is clear for us, Abuna he's not going to ask someone, why are you coming late? Amo Michael he's not going to ask someone, where is your preparation lesson? Because the picture must be clear. Why I am serving Sunday school? Why I have to prepare a lesson? Why I have to call this kid? Why I have to visit this kid? Why I am serving Sunday school? Because there is a lot of people who are following Jesus Christ. Some of them saw, sell him or sold him like Judea, and he was one of his disciples, and he was following him. Some people they follow him because he only they was only eating when he done the five bread and two fish. So the question: Why we serve him? Someone can answer. I'm not gonna talk all day. Be sure what you think. Why we serving God? One of the commandments served me. Yeah. Which commandments? No, 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 you serve someone who you love him. It's very good. What else? Any another idea? When Christ came, he was you know, he served other people, so she's a role model. So we learned from him. And we obviously pass it on to other people. It's very good. All this. That's good. All this good answer. When I love someone and he know he has a kid, I should look after his kids or not. And Michael, I know him from a long time. He said, you have beliefs. Can you help my daughter for English or mathematics or anything? I will help him or not. That's right. So all of us, we love God very much. We know how much God has done for us. So that's the minimum we do for his kids. That's right. So depending how much you love God, how much you are serving his kids. So always we need to remember this why. Because. He doesn't want someone to remind you. You only remember, God, how much you love me, you did this, you died for me, you come for me, you give me all this blessing in my life. So that to serve your kids, that's the minimum. And you know you be a servant, this service in your blood. I know one of the servants, he went to one of the city. Sunday school coming out of the class. He finish, he sit with them and they teach them. I was serving in Egypt. We finish in, you know, Abu Anastas is the one they want to choose him to be above. This man, his service was about, you know, the orphan, uh, all orphan around Egypt. I was looking about one. So in once a year he collect all kids from orphan because some of the sisters in one, some boys in one, they never see them. And I found one of the servants, the kids jumping in him in his shoulder, talk to him, hug him. And I asked my brother, why this fisher? He said, this kid, he was in this orphan house. He was in this orphan house when he was a child. Now he's looking after this old orphan house. What he was missing during his service, he was giving to the kids. That's why the kids would love him very much. 
ابونا بيقول برضو كون ان احنا we serve who is God it's a big blessing for us because you know who be the owners God he send him message to give it to his kids and the children remember the Samaritan woman after she sit with Jesus and after Jesus changed her life what she done after this she start run she can take this for herself but I have something very good I want the people benefit I live with Christ I was successful in my life successful in my home and I have blessed my life why is this I'm not gonna give it to you imagine today McDonald's he make a special one dollar Big Mac what we gonna do he found everyone call his friend come or go McDonald's but imagine something for your eternal life Samaritan woman after her life it changed after sit with Jesus how long she sit with him maybe half an hour changed completely her life she went and she was the first preacher a New Testament to tell them come and see someone who told me all what I done in my life all what she done in her life was embarrassed by the way but she didn't embarrass if God not embarrassed for what I did and he forgive my sin I'm not gonna embarrass and she start to talk to people about herself then John, John Chrysostom what he said he said if you tell me the sun not gonna rise for shame I'm not gonna believe but to tell me a Christian person he not serving it's very hard he said every Christian person he must serve because God he said we are light of the world so we must be shine everywhere we there if we are at work we have to be servant if we are in the street we still we are a servant if we are in the church we are a servant I'm not kind of servant to be Sunday school Abuna he not paying us wage every Sunday but all the week that's not our job we are a servant everywhere if you are even in February mass we promise God to preach his name when we say Amin, Lahna, Amin, 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 we preach you. Yeah? We, we know, we love God. God is on the altar and we take in Him and out of the love as a relation between us and Him, we start to, we love to tell everybody to come and join us. One, one servant, he would, uh, I can't remember I said this story or not. He's now a priest. He said in his tape. He said I was a manager of one of the bank and in Egypt the bank is sold to one of the, you know, Gulf country. So you know all of them Muslim, and they they told him thank you for your job. You done good job. He said they, you know, they finish him. Kick him. Uh, after three four months they call him. They said we did our best to keep you away. But all the people work perfect, every job you done perfect, and everything, everyone talk very highly about you. We need you to come back, but we change everyone who's working with you. So I said, first day I come back, I found the owner of the bank son-in-law, the owner of the bank son, and the, all the family, you know, all the rich family, and everyone, you know, his head, big one, and his beard, this one. He said, the picture first day wasn't nice at all. But I heard something inside me to tell me, serve them. He said, I supposed to start to work at 9 o'clock. Every day I come at 7 o'clock. I prepare the paperwork. The fridge full of food and the drink. I do everything. So, you know, every day they come, they found every, you know, everyone desk, the paperwork ready. He tied up everything. He cleaned everything, the fridge, and he's the manager. Mm -hmm. After two, three years, they, I found they coming one, one day, I come seven o'clock, I found they waiting for me seven o'clock. He said, what you do? He said, one day after all this help, one day we need to, you have a rest and we're helping you. They call him to ordinate him as a priest in Marimor or Cleopatra. 
They tell him, listen, we oh, don't want you to go. We pay you more than what you take from the church. He tells them that's not that. He said, all right, you, you work for them at night, come work with us in the morning. <laughs> he said they was very upset and nearly cried to leave. If he treats them as a, he's a manager, they're not going to be successful like this. But it's very important. He knows what the service, even not Christian, even some stranger, anyone he serves, he changed the life. He changed the life. So number one, we serve God because we love Him. Number two, we serve God because it's an honor for us to serve His children. Number three, because the blessing we take from Him. Anyone, he know what happened in the TV last two days. A Korean servant. He been caught in Korea to serve Christ. They arrest him and they give him a sentence. How many years? Fifteen years. His wife was in the TV, she said, we went and we know. We were not allowed to preach Christ, but we need these people to know about Christ. Amba Thomas, the recent one, Oscar of Kosea, one of the servants, you know, they got small village, one of the servants, he sent him to one small village, all Muslim people. You know, he collect them uh, as an area, all Muslim people, we're not allowed to make a church, so some people, Christian there, no one visit them. So he collect all the Christian small house, start to bridge them. They found this someone coming from outside, bridge the Christian. They told them, if you come back, we we'll broke your leg. He went to the bishop and listen, you send me, that's what happened. He tell him, if you doesn't want to go again, no one can blame you. But if you go again, he takes the place. He went again, they beat him until broke his leg. He stayed three months, was blasted. The bishop visit him. He tell him, Sayyidna, don't worry. After I heal, I will go back. He went back and what happened to him? This time they kill him. Why he went back? These people, they shed their blood for Christ. What happened to all our disciples, the twelve? All of them, what happened to them except one? Why? Because they love God. They know have a, they have a face when we live from here we have a better place. Who can I sit next to Jesus Christ in heaven? And he said in his book of Daniel, the people bring the sinner, they cannot be shine like a star in the heaven. That's why we're here. That's why we sacrifice our time and the life and the family to serve God and his kids. So if we put this one in front of us, from beginning of the year of Sunday school, we serve God because we love Him, and He loved us before and forgive our sin. We serve God, He blessed us and our home. We serve God because we know after we finish from here, we shine in the heaven like a star. And the more you bring people, the more better. And you know, when you go to the heaven, everyone go inside with the people who bring it to Christ. Imagine San Athanasius walking and all the people coming with him. Some boy, he wrote his epistle, how many times this can change people? He go in with the people. And when you go, how many people you bring to Christ? Depend everyone. So, very important, please. Who doesn't want to beg anyone? Where is your prayer? Listen. Who doesn't want to beg anyone? Come early, sit in the mess next to your kid help them who well, doesn't want to beg anyone you know very important when Abuna gave Holy Communion the servant is a servant take the kids because I see that a lot of kids running by themselves it's very dangerous if someone puts that cup from Abuna hand it's in sad. you know I saw a poor mother you know the, her son very naughty jump up and down and he feels sorry for her that's why I hold the boy and I give him Holy I let Abuna give him Sometimes when someone is strange, the kids, you know, respect them, them, they come quite hell. Don't sit like a humble person in the, of the church and believe the church upset. now. go. Sit next to one of your class because he will learn from you. The church, you go for discipleship. We learn from our servant. We, we learn, we teach these people until everyone learns. So it's a very important. And the God with the service, you know, can ask you, what position you have in the service, he asks you how honest you are in service. If my class two people, and I'm very honest with them, it's equal you have class with ten people. If I'm a Sunday school coordinator, I do my job with love, 
and the honesty, everyone equal, whose God loves like someone have only class, like someone gives sermon, like everyone. That is a measure not how big your service, how much you was honest, and how much you was loving your service the one you do. That's all quick. There's some point to put in our mind for the beginning of the year. So please, for all the glory be to God forever and ever. I mean, have it with Hagel. I'm Mike. Let us bring our class, particularly the Diane class, to the book with Yaduna as a confession, and we go with them, encourage them. Let them get you to do a confession. Please, and even the big classes they can, if you would like to confess with Yaduna here, okay? If he has another confession further, it's okay. But at least we go as a class and say hello again. Yes? Thank you.